Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Alter Tech, aka that OnePlus guy, and today I have some exciting news when it comes to the OnePlus 7T Pro edition for the McLaurin edition with 5G capabilities. I wish there was an easier way to see all this, but let's get to it. Number one, pre-orders is available, people, for the OnePlus 7T Pro. And you do have a second option with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with 5G. So let's get the details real quick. And like I said, people, I'm not biased with any other phones. Maybe, perhaps, you guys might find the OnePlus 7T Pro, you know, feasible. Or maybe you might prefer the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with 5G. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick, though. So let's check out the deal. There's going to be two deals for the OnePlus device. And that's going to be number one. If you're switching from another carrier, people... The good news is you can get this for free with an eligible trade-in. There are some phones. I'll, let's see if I can pick that up real quick. For some reason, it only shows up on the mobile site on my cell phone. But I can read it off to you guys if you guys want. So for the... If you guys aren't planning on switching, if you just want to upgrade your phone to this beast over here, uh, consider this. You could trade from the iPhone X to the iPhone 8, the Galaxy S9, Note 9, and even the Pixel... 3a and you do have the oneplus 7 pro i mean it's pretty much up to you how badly do you want 5g so for me my expectations are pretty high i live in pretty much near bayonne in jersey city and my speeds aren't that great it's pretty much about i'd say probably 5 to 10 megabits per second on average inside my house maybe if i walk a couple blocks i could probably you know get a little boost but for 5g um, i would actually be kind of excited to get this and get those speeds at no extra cost so packed with innovative features okay so this is the marketing thingamajig and as for the 5g network it's actually up right now it's up and running okay here we go so we have two options the galaxy note 10 plus and the oneplus 7 t pro 5g mclaurin edition so 899 bucks compared to 1299 dollars so it seems like a big price gap but there are some things to consider people uh, for taxes uh, for new jersey it's probably gonna cost me about 60 something bucks and for taxes in here probably about 90 dollars 90 something dollars so here's the thing people you get about 30 sorry 300 dollars off when you trade in an eligible device like i said before I mean, the value of these phones, if you were to sell it on Swappo, I'm pretty sure you could get pretty much slightly better deals. I'm not sure. Maybe for the 8, it might make sense. For the S9, yeah. For the Pixel 3a. And as for the Galaxy Note 10, this is where the dilemma begins, people. This is it. So you get 50% off with an eligible trade-in. So for that same, what is it? The Galaxy Note 9. If I were to trade in this baby, they would give me about 650 bucks for it. I mean, even if you were to factor uh, both the costs at the end, let me just go back, you would end up paying about 650 bucks for this plus tax and about 600 bucks for this plus tax. And, you know, if you guys want to compare the features and whatnot, yeah, it could be a tough call. Like I said, people, I'm not biased to any other brands. You guys pick whatever you feel is the best for you. So for this one, let's go ahead and check out the specs. This is a, like I said, it's a limited edition. It's for like the fans out there, the hardcore fans, and you're getting that 5G. And 5G is available at no extra cost, if I didn't say it before. For T-Mobile, if you guys have those regular uh, post-pay plans. So for the specs, people, it's pretty much the same thing in Majig. You have the 90 hertz display, quad HD display. You have the two times lossless zoom, and I actually prefer them calling it like this compared to the, the three times zoom with the crop in. Uh, you have the Nightscape camera mode, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, like on the 7T, 256 gigabytes of storage, um, it's Warp Charge 30T, same thing on the OnePlus 7T, and uh, that's about it. Um, as for the battery differences from the 7 Pro, you have to get about what 85, a tiny bump in the battery. That's pretty much it. You have 12 gigabytes of RAM, and like I've said in my other videos, 8 gigabytes is a sweet spot. I haven't found maybe much uses for 12 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in the box. You have the OnePlus 7T Pro, warp charge cable, the adapter. The McLaurin protective case. This did not come with the OnePlus 6T's McLaurin edition. So this is a nice add-on. You have a SIM card tool, quick start guide. And that's pretty much it, everyone. So let me just go ahead and... Should I do this, people? I'll feel bad at kind of doing this, bringing up a Galaxy Note 10. But, man, let's go for it anyways. So for this... You're getting the live focus video, super, I mean, Samsung decks. I mean, you Samsung knights out there, you guys are probably drooling over all of this stuff. The next generation S Pen. Um, you have the S Pen, 
zoom in mic i mean it's a lot more features like i said people this was my favorite phone when it came to creating videos i mean everything was just it was a fun phone for content creation but for the android experience itself and for if you are that die hard oneplus fan this is something else it's like a like a limited edition pair of jordans if i hadn't said it before it's special if you guys are really you know big fanboys anyways so for the coverage people the 5g map is out and i'm looking at it you know is am i going to get some coverage in my area is it going to be spotty are we ready for 5g is t-mobile ready for 5g let's go ahead and check it out real quick type in my zip code okay so let's dive into it real quick something that's really interesting right now is that most of new york uh in the city most of it is you know 4g it's pretty kind of kind of strange why i would expect the entire city of new york to have 5g and over here down on this side in uh ghetto america we have full 5g so this is something i am very happy about because with most of these carriers what they would do is they would you know they wouldn't really invest much in the lower income areas and to see that you know this area is just fully covered that's that that looks pretty promising so um that's this is the map um it's probably going to improve as time goes on obviously so it's looking pretty good for me it looks like i'll pretty much do great when it comes to 5g if i do get a 5g device so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you guys going to pick up a 5g device from t-mobile what do you guys think about the prices and i gotta tell myself you know i'm getting 5g for free so for these prices and everything if you factor that in these seem pretty reasonable it's just that the trading values for these it's pretty um thingamajig i know this is a lot more when it comes down to it they're basically almost the same price and they have different features and you know for software updates you're probably not going to get the fastest software updates with either one of these devices now why would i say that well the answer is because manufacturers tend to upgrade devices that has a bigger audience i mean if you're going to upgrade device why would you upgrade a device uh will spend more resources upgrading maybe a few thousand people when you could upgrade a device where millions of people actually use so that's the the thinking that goes between it and with 5g it's not as easy i guess when it comes to upgrades it probably requires more testing and whatnot so it is what it is can be a little tricky but next year the iphones are probably gonna, all going to have 5g and that will be something to think about and the iphone se2 should be coming out it might be just 4g so it's going to be a, a more affordable option for apple fans out there but um, overall, I am very happy with my OnePlus 7T, but with 5G, it looks like they got us covered. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And if you guys want to help me grow this channel or and, and, you know achieve this device, you could go ahead and just you know lay a little donation down my PayPal link. And I'll try to you know give you guys some videos and testings based on you know what you guys want. So anyways, people, this is Altered Tech, and I am not sponsored by anyone, so what goes is goes. I'm just trying to be pretty much down to earth as much as I can and as transparent as I can. Let me know what you guys think about all this. This is Altered Tech signing out. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Peace.